everyone, welcome to Korea's Talk. Every month, we explore about the different topics on Korean policy issues with different diplomats and experts. Today, we would like to discuss about Live Together in Art with two different guests. Please welcome them. Jang Jae-bok, Ambassador for Public Diplomacy of MOFA, and Art Director Lee Dae-hyung, the creator of Global Public Art Collaboration, Connect BTS. Ambassador and an art director, you are working in quite different fields. I guess the reason we have both of you here is to discuss further about today's topic, Live Together in Art. How do you think? Live Together in Art, um, the topic itself uh, can be explained uh, briefly as diplomacy meets art. Let me ask you a question. Do you know what diplomacy and art have in common? Diplomacy and art, um, that's a very Tricky question. Um, do you mind explaining me more? Both of them start with speaking to a person's heart. If we can't touch the hearts of others, uh, we couldn't be considered uh, good diplomats or good artists. These days, uh, during the COVID-19 pandemic, there is a growing tendency among people to express distrust and hate more frequently. So I believe that uh, being invited here together with Director Lee can be a good opportunity to explore ways to speak to the heart of others through the power of art. How about you, Director Lee? Any thoughts? Uh, uh, just as Ambassador Zhang uh, said, art is representative of human engagement with ideas and emotions. Throughout history, art has addressed deep human need, and art can be a source of empathy connecting people from different cultural backgrounds. I totally agree with Director Lee. Uh, I think especially since we try to be connected with different people, different ideas, anywhere, anytime through uh, social media, we are in a way all main characters uh, in a form of artwork. Uh, the entire world stays connected uh, through these digital platforms and we have access to a huge amount of real-time information online. But at the same time, it's also true that fake news or uh, false information proliferates on social media and a great deal of this unfiltered and misleading information has been inciting fear, prejudice and hate. That's why having the ability to differentiate good sources from bad uh, has become critical in the digital age. Connect BTS project that I organized with a group of international curators connected 22 international artists across five cities around the world. I cannot explain every single artist here, but considering today's themes, the performance project at Gropius Bau in Berlin can be a good example since its immediate proximity to the Berlin Wall. When Berlin Wall fell, I thought there would be no more ideological conflict. But today, invisible, higher, and thicker walls of hatred is still separating people from people. The kind of wisdom that destroyed the Berlin Wall back in 1989 is not functioning properly against the invisible walls of discrimination and hatred. So the start of Connect BTS project was to break down these invisible walls and restore the value of connections. While I'm studying BTS's philosophy of respect for diversity as well as their love and care for the periphery, I come to shift my focus away from my own Korean identity and begin to recognize myself as a part of humanity as a whole. Ultimately, uh, every individual is important because we are all different. We are the author of our own past into the future but we are also fellow travelers. Fellow travelers, I love the word. I'd like to address some more thing. Uh, we need to educate ourselves so we can have broader and more diverse uh, perspectives. Uh, UNESCO is carrying out a form of uh, civic learning called Global Citizenship Education to address issues like 
discrimination, human rights violations, and inequality in the world. It emphasizes uh, universal values such as humanity, tolerance, and respect for diversity. In fact, uh, Korea has led the creation of the uh, Group of Friends for Solidarity and Inclusion with Global Citizenship Education, which was launched by UNESCO in May uh, 2020. I believe that there are many other people like me who would love to hear more about Live Together project. Thank you for bringing it up. Uh, at this point of the COVID-19 pandemic, I do believe it is critical to raise social awareness and encourage people to embrace cultural diversity and inclusiveness. In order to fight against racism and hate, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs is promoting the Live Together campaign together uh, in partnership with UNESCO. A variety of people around the world are actively participating in this initiative and they are finding it relevant to their lives at this difficult crossroads in globalization. People from all walks of life, uh, including high-level officials, diplomats, actors and actresses, uh, singers, students, even Pengsu, giant penguin, <laughs> have joined the uh, campaign as you can see on the Instagram account. Besides Live Together campaign, I would also like to mention another challenge called Stay Strong. That's right. Uh, Ministry of Foreign Affairs has been uh, trying to deliver uh, positive messages to the uh, sections of the public that have been experiencing uh, difficulties through various campaigns. The Stay Strong campaign, which aims to help overcome the COVID-19 crisis through uh, global solidarity, has received worldwide attention as well. I think everyone can be a diplomat uh, by spreading positive influence through these kinds of uh, campaigns. This is what public diplomacy is about. I think what you just mentioned is really critical. Last year, the year of social distancing to fight back against the corona pandemics, uh, I witnessed unprecedented and polarized world of xenophobia, antagonism, and nationalisms. In that gloomy situation, American composers, Eric Whitaker's virtual choirs, connected 17,572 singers from 129 different countries to sing gently together. It was so touching and so beautiful that it would melt the ice barriers that emotionally separate peoples. The project brought the world back together in harmony, voices of different peoples who never met before. The highlight of this project, I think, uh, you can find the names of all 17,572 peoples listed in the end of credit. If we can be connected together and sing together, it becomes a true work of art that can change the world. Thank you very much. Today, as a host of the very first episode of Korea's Talk, I feel very honored to have a meaningful conversation with you two and collaboration of diplomacy and art. I believe that when it comes to the direction of collaboration and diversity, it will be very meaningful. Ambassador Zhang and Director Lee, thank you very much again for being on the show today. We're Korea's Talk. Make sure that you like and subscribe the Korea's channel. Thank you.